Hello and welcome. This is a Form Labs dental video. My name is Sam Wainwright. I'm the dental product manager here at Form Labs, and I'm here with our resident dental technician and expert, Bill Slocum. Thank you, Sam. Today we'll be speaking about the Form Labs Digital Denture, the latest dental offering for the Form 2 3D printer. In this video, we're going to go over three main topics. We're going to give an introduction to the 3D printed denture and what it consists of. Second, we're going to go through uh, briefly, some CAD considerations on digital teeth, libraries, and cards. And third and finally, we're going to go step by step through the manufacturing workflow and how you actually 3D print and process these dentures. Digital dentures have been the buzz in the dental industry for a few years now. We're excited that it's actually becoming reality. At Form Labs, we're launching 3D printed denture solutions that make clinical, economical, and business sense. 3D printed dentures are made in two parts the base and the teeth. And initially we're launching one shade of each and we plan to have many shades of base and teeth released in the upcoming year. Denture Base LP is a denture base resin and Denture Teeth A2 is a denture teeth resin. If you are looking for a detailed step-by-step -step guide, please refer to our 3D printed denture application guide. Formlabs Preform software will accept any open file type from DentalCAD software. We've been mainly using 3Shape here at Formlabs for digital dentures so far, but with any CAD software, it's really important to consider what tooth libraries are used and what output they will produce. In our testing so far, we've only found a few open teeth libraries, but there are also a few that are closed. The closed libraries only allow certain manufacturing methods. It's very important to test and try the dental CAD software that you will be using for digital dentures. That way you can discover which libraries are open and closed so you can fit it best to your dental business. In this section, we're gonna go through the workflow and how to post-process and finish a 3D printed denture from the Form 2. We will be picking up right after the parts have been removed from the bill plate and washed. We will be starting with removing the supports from the denture base and the denture teeth. To remove the supports, Bill's using his dental handpiece and a cutting disc to cut the supports and smooth them away. After the supports are removed, you'll notice that our teeth are splinted together, and we've found for the best aesthetic results, reduction of the interproximal connection will help make a more natural look. Combining the 3D printed base and teeth is easy. Once you remove the supports and washed your parts, take a small cup of denture base resin and wet the sockets with a brush. Place the teeth into the sockets starting from the posterior. Press the base and teeth together with one hand and with the other hand, use a handheld UV cure light to tack the parts together. Continue repeating this process and move across the arch and forward until complete. You can also add denture base resin to the interproximals or remove excess resin if needed. To finalize the connection of the teeth and base, the denture should be cured in a form cure. The denture should be placed into a four cup Pyrex container filled with glycerin and submerged. For 30 minutes, the denture should be cured in a form cure, then flipped over for an additional 30 minutes of curing for 60 total minutes. During this final cure, the two parts become one. Once the denture is fully cured, simply polish it the same way you would a traditional denture. Using a rag wheel with pumice at low speeds will help it smooth the prints without flattening or removing characterization. Finally, using an acrylic high shine at high speeds yields a truly impressive result. Yeah, the process to combine the base and the teeth through looting is actually pretty easy. It's definitely much easier than setting teeth by hand in wax and processing in the traditional manner. We're very excited to see what everybody's thoughts and opinions are on this 3D printed product. If you start 3D printing dentures on your Form 2, send us some pictures. Our email is dental at formlabs.com. We'd love to see what everybody's doing. I bet people are going to do some pretty incredible stuff with this technology. This has been a Form Labs dental video. We really hope you enjoyed it and it's been helpful. My name is Sam Winwright. This is Bill Slocum.